And we've been focusing a lot about the cold, the wind, and the snow. But how about this? Longer days are ahead in here already. Sunset tonight, 739, although we're not going to find wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. There'll be some breaks of sunshine, partial sunshine at times. By the end of this month, it's after 8 o'clock. By the end of May, 836 in the evening. Love it. You're not liking these temperatures? Well, they're not going to be much better than what we had yesterday. In fact, we're colder than we were 24 hours ago. 25 right now, wind chills in the teens, and still that wind coming in out of the west, northwest, and that's going to be coming from a source of very chilly air. 12 degrees in Sault Ste. Marie, 1 up in Timmins, Ontario. So we've got that chilly flow crossing the lakes. Still some light snow showers and flurries. Every once in a while, a more moderate snow shower that is going to put down just a little bit of snow, and I think Fair game for a coating of snow anywhere, but anything uh, measurable will probably be at elevation uh, when you get up towards maybe one inch. Up towards Sterling, some moderate snow working over towards Hannibal and Oswego County, just south of Cato, down towards Weedsport, passing snow shower, maybe an odd flurry in Onondaga County. It's mostly dry, and we've got some scattered snow showers and flurries in northern Oswego, Lewis, and Jefferson County. Wind continues today. The chill does, and at times, some light snow. Could be better, could be worse. For tomorrow, cold start, but I think things definitely take a turn for the better by the midday. We get up into the 40s in the afternoon. There's going to be very little wind for tomorrow. That high pressure also gives us a good amount of sunshine, though clouds start to get the upper hand by later in the day. Then a new system arrives later Monday night into Tuesday. Some early snow showers will give way to some breaks of sunshine. So here we are at 10 o'clock this morning. Scattered snow showers as we go into the afternoon. Probably catch a break that pushes down to the south. Some partial sunshine here for a while before some more scattered lighter snow showers drop in during the evening hours. And finally towards midnight, things quiet down. We start to clear and that makes for a cold start tomorrow. Most spots in the teens, about 20 in Syracuse, but the wind chill won't be a big factor. Sunshine, a few clouds for the morning. We turn mostly cloudy. Then during the evening, we could see some flurries pop up down to our south and southwest, a better chance towards Tuesday morning. Snowfall projection, maybe up to one inch of accumulation in the hills to the south of Syracuse, over the Adirondacks, and perhaps the Tug Hill as well. But for the most part, just a nuisance flurry coming down at times, scattered snow showers tapering at some during the afternoon. It is chilly and becomes breezy winds pick up to 10 to 25 miles per hour keeping the wind chills much colder than that 35 degree high evening scattered flurries a clearing sky more cold for tomorrow still cool not as 41 though our high with sun fading morning flurries and early snow showers on tuesday on wednesday mostly quiet and evening shower hey 48 degrees 50 on thursday for the home opener of the chiefs still below our normal high of about 54 there'll be some off and on rain showers a few showers north of Syracuse on Friday, 49. Chiefs are playing then again. And then my pick day is Saturday, not a shower till the evening, and 58 degrees. Wow. Yes, finally. Yes.